just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Pijao is a little town in the center of Colombia. It's uh, about 8-10 miles south of Armenia. Uh, it used to be attached to the little town of Calarca. And there was no road for a long time. Uh, to go from Calarca to Pijao, it was about three days of hiking very mountainous area as you can see. Pihau was founded by uh, Amerindians, indigenous. Uh, phew, nobody knows. It's a lost language, although there are some descendants. The language was completely lost. And they were mostly wiped out by disease and by the Spanish. Uh, they fought the Spanish for years and years and years. There's a coffee group uh, founded by 36 women with uh, 36 uh, coffee farms, and it's a, it's a co-op, and it's part of the national coffee uh, co-op, but it's a, it's a rather unique thing that they've set up. So the Pihau Indians were also known for uh, ritual cannibalism, only for the enemies. And um, a Spanish uh, leader, general, uh, big muckety-muck, uh, claimed once in, in his journals that over the course of 50 years, they had eaten 100,000 Spaniards. So, well, maybe you shouldn't be invading countries. Uh, Pijau was founded uh, in modern times by people from Ibagué, and from Manizales, they came to this area uh, because it was, they liked the seclusion. There's this beautiful river that runs through it, the uh, Rio Verde, Green River. I'm not really into it, although I appreciate it when I see it, but there are some unique uh, trees in this area, and I can't tell you the name of them. I just know that there's a couple uh, look a little different. Uh, there's one type that has leaves that are almost white. So if you're into foliage. <laughs> Other than sitting under it on a hot day, uh, this you might find a fascinating place. Uh, there's about 5,000 people that live within the town itself, 10,000 in the entire department. So it's sparsely populated. It's pretty much uh, entirely agricultural. It's very quiet, very peaceful. Everyone's worried about safety. This is a place where you would not need to worry about it. I could see that it would be a very comfortable, relaxing place to live everybody of course is very nice on the other hand you're quite a ways away from things I mean the bus ride from Armenia was um, was over an hour well over an hour so I think uh, Cordoba would probably be the closest uh, I would say civilization even that even that little town is, is fairly limited so uh, you know I could see it could be a little problematic unless you love this kind of seclusion, which actually I do, but I also need access to, you know, the malls. Yeah, I've come to the conclusion that I also like modern life. Now, Andrea uh, came with me on this and a few other trips. She's a friend for uh, quite some time. 
and um, you notice the scowls because she was having some problems. She had to spend a lot of time on her phone trying to sort something out. Uh, she didn't really even want to be in the videos uh, because she was in such a mood, but you know, I just plow ahead. So of course we stopped for the juice, gotta have a juice, and um, strolled around a little, but you won't see that much in this video because there's not that much to see. It's a very small, beautiful town. But outside of that, it's not really noteworthy for anything in particular. It's just clean, it's beautiful, it's uh, peaceful. The surroundings are stunning. It's a uh, gorgeous territory. Uh, Buena Vista, which will be in a video following this one, is a gorgeous place. And it used to be part of the Pijao uh, Department, which is like a county. Uh, but they separated off uh, some years back. So, we walked around, got my juice, spent a couple hours, and uh, got back on the bus and headed for Buena Vista. So I'll see you in Buena Vista.